My opinions are dedicated to those whose opinions have been crushed, turned into automatons enslaved by their own state, forced to fill factories close to collapse to put food on their tables and clothes on our backs. And for what thanks? Thanks for the cheap t-shirt that'll be worn for one night before it's thrown away because it's gone out of shape. No thanks. That's a waste of so many things that are important in life. My right to do what the fuck I like are the rights of Pussy Riot and Ai Weiwei. Their incarceration won't be wasted on me. My freedom of speech can surely set their words free. I could be a conduit for all the small voices that need it. The roof over my head will provide shelter for refugees displaced by pointless wars and humanitarian atrocities. Pulled from their home for their religious differences and other men's oily greed. The fire that's in my heart and in my heart will warm their frozen bodies as winter attacks in Iraq and through the canvas camps of Afghanistan. And where next? It's anyone's impossible guess. And the food on my table will feed the kids who are hungry in this country standing outside my door. Malnourished, sent to school on a breakfast of biscuits and cheap crisps. And they will be fed. And they will be sheltered. And they will be heard. Because if I don't write this down and stand idly by, it's as good as if I committed the crime. See, troubled times write desperate lines. Read by sore eyes, they unsettle stable minds. Unsure minds think anxious thoughts that twist and turn and contort and tumble out as worried words. Concerned words get perverse. Confidently said, they get heard. Spun and spun, they become a blur. Caught in a circular vicious chase, shouted down, chopped and changed. If we all spoke in whispers, the quiet truth might come out, encouraged by the silence and the apathy of doubt.